Okay, we're starting at, um, we're starting the video here at about three degrees angle of attack. Uh, we're now looking at, we're zoomed in on the leading edge of the flat plate. The flat plate, I think, is um, a 1% thick flat plate, so very thin, very, very thin. Uh, again, RE around 3,800. Uh, the C sub L and C sub B numbers are going to be the same as before. We're just zoomed in to get a closer look at the airflow, what's happening at the leading edge. And um, you start to see the what's happening with the uh, higher speed air coming off the top edge of the leading edge. And now we're just starting to see a bubble forming just past the leading edge. You see the slower air past the leading edge on the top surface. So we can watch in a little more detail here the formation of the laminar separation bubble. And as that air gets slower uh, at the surface, we'll start to see a reversal of airflow. And that's when the bubble really starts to uh, get large. Now at about four and a half degrees, um, I'm seeing some tufts. There we go. Some tufts now are starting to reverse, and um, this is going to make the bubble grow pretty fast. Yeah, now we got some pretty turbulent air going along the top surface of the airfoil, and it's starting to change direction right on the surface. The streamlines um, in this representation of the wind tunnel, uh, you can see every now and then that the streamlines that start uniformly on the leading edge of the of the tunnel get thrown away from the top surface of the wing, but every now and then the streamlines will get wrapped up in uh, that turbulent airflow in this bubble. And you'll see the streamlines wrap around. Okay, now we've got a really well-developed bubble. We've got reverse flow right at the surface. Turbulent air between. A lot of turbulence there, and it's establishing itself as a a nicely circulating uh, bubble in the leading part of the cord. And the bubble is growing in thickness. Uh, coefficient of lift now is up to about 1.6. You see it peak out there at 1.6. It's not steady because of the way I represent it. Um, you remember in the fuller view at 6 degrees we're up to uh, over 2 to 2. Uh, coefficient of lift at 2. Again, an RE of 3,800. Now we've got a very well-formed bubble that goes right up to the leading edge. Higher speed air in blue, lower speed air in red, and all the other velocities in a color spectrum from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and so forth. And now we're at 6.2 degrees and just holding steady here at this angle.